good morning warm welcome on today's online class uh, today i'm going to teach about the poem the road not taken which is written by robert lee frost two roads devils in the yellow woods and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down when as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth in this first stanza the poet says there were two roads in the jungle and the boat road goes to different direction and the poem is dilemma here as the point has used the term yellow woods it seemed that the leaves have turned lifeless and yellow depicting autumn season where most of the leaves fallen the point feels sorry because he alone can travel on both roads the road could symbolize two choices in life and the point finds it difficult to choose to make choice so he being a traveler stood there for a long time determining which way to continue traveling and he noticed that one of the road bent in the undergrowth then took the order as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted to wear though as for that the passing there had worn them really about the same it means both roads were beautiful but the right to choose second road because it was grassy and wanted to wear few people used to passing through were more grasses and more bushes over there point thought both roads are same perhaps only the grasses and the bushes are not much more difference selecting between two roads may portray the selection between two destinies and next and the boat that morning curly lay it leaves in leaves no step had trodden black oh i kept the first for another day yet knowing how way leads on the way i doubt if i should ever come back in this stanza he explained both the roads were covered with leaves that morning and perhaps that morning he was the first to traveler on that road as the leaves fallen and then on the road had not torn back by the step of the travelers however it seems that he regrets his decision slightly wondering if he will ever get to come back he had been walking through the second road left the first one but he had promised to walk next road for yet another day and then he further says i shall be telling this with the sigh somewhere ages and ages since to rose devers in wood and i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference in this stanza he explained years from now somewhere in the future he feels he will look back and then decide whether the choice he made was correct or not this may be indicating that making a choice out of two objectives is responsible for our future and that makes all the difference the choice may brings us right or wrong and then he will be telling about his choice with a sigh or if the choice proves out to be right it will be a sigh of happiness 
all right dear student after this video um, here is one yet another video and which will be helpful for you to understand this poem clearly the road not taken by robert frost two roads diverged in a yellow wood And sorry I could not travel both and be one traveller. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other, as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that, the passing there had worn them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less travelled by. And that has made all the difference. For an analysis of the poem, watch this video or check out the next poem in this series. All right, welcome back once again after this video. Now, Next session is question answer. Here are the some question answer I have brought for you. Hopefully you will do all of you. Okay, answer the following question. Number A. Who was the speaker of the poem? Number B. Where is the speaker standing in this poem? Number C. Why can't travel travel both roads at a time? And number D, what is the speaker sorry about? And number E, which road does he choose to travel?